according to Tim Brown, who says that Tom Brady is just starting to show his age, 45, 46. He's too old to play for his Raiders, and they shouldn't be interested in it. And then he went, side note, by the way, uh, and he's not mobile. Like, like, he wasn't mobile when he was 21, let alone when he's 45. I get it. But what was your response to this, John, when you heard that Tom Brady's too old to play for the Raiders? I mean, the reality is Tom Brady's style of play doesn't require youth. It really doesn't. I mean, he was not a scrambler. He's cerebral. He never had the quickest release. He didn't throw the hardest ball. He did, like, he's a really smart, he, like, his football IQ is off the chart. He understands the dink and dunk game all over the place. Like, he's just, like, throwing little darts. He's, you know, with the exception of the season with Randy Moss, when he threw 50, I, what, didn't he throw 50 yep. or 40 with, yep. with, with yep. Uh, Randy? I mean, that was an amazing season. Other than that, you take that out, it's a bunch of screen passes, quick slant, you know, little, little quick patterns. He's, but, and that's not a pejorative. He's won more Super Bowls than anybody. And if Tom Brady wants to play, I certainly would have him on my team. I mean, who are you going to get that's better in terms of wanting to win? You got to put other pieces around him. But I don't think there's any evidence that he's too old yet because he, it's not like he's, you know, Michael Vick or Patrick Mahomes where being mobile was key. He can sit there and throw darts all day. Yeah, exactly. As long as he can manipulate the defense by knowing his offense and anticipation, always get the ball to the proper guy, you don't really age out of that. It's crazy because when Tom Brady left New England, people said, oh, he's too old. That's why he has to go. That's why the decline in the last year or so in New England, right? Then all he did was just go to Tampa Bay and win a Super Bowl. Thought he was too old. Oh, he's not too old now, you know? And so this is the narrative that always sits in someone's back pocket. And they just wait. And they ignore all of your success or any other thing that actually goes to the contrary. Now, I love Tim Brown, and I think he has a point here. Like, yo, Tom Brady, another year like this year, without you being in training camp for 11 days because you're going through the divorce, without you being all the way locked in, let's be real, you didn't have your best season even in terms of mental anticipation, uh, the, the arm strength seems to be the same as it was, if not slightly improved. But the narrative is if you're playing so-so and you're old, guess what? We're going to say you're too old. It's just as simple as that. And then when you bring it to the mobility, that's when you know it's starting to reach. Like, dog, he ain't never been mobile. We, no, we don't even look at Tom Brady as a guy that's going to break a play down and scramble away. So... My takeaway was I would give him another roll of the dice and certainly he's box office fills the seats. The bottom line is going to be affected. He's going to bring in revenue and he only had one bad year in the last three years when last three years I thought he was too old. Yeah, I, I, I mean the reality is the dude certainly has earned the right to determine whether or not he plays. I mean that's just yeah, that part. Fact. I mean, you win that many Super Bowls, you're like, yeah. If I mean, as long as I still look the same. And honestly, even though people are like, oh my God, this year is a disaster, I don't know how you play football, not only going through a divorce, not only having an aging body, but losing how much money to FTX? Uh, I mean, that's a little distracting. You're like, down. So, wait, I lost like hundreds of millions of dollars? I mean, it yeah. just... It's got to be, I don't know how, when people are like, you're not focused on the field. It's like, yeah, I got a couple things going on off the field that are distracting me, even though I'm Tom Brady. I'm not really thinking about, like, if we're running 32 dive or not. <laughs> yeah, Tom Brady had it wild. Like, I mean, look, he's Captain America, so we forget that he's still a human being that got to yeah. put on that suit to be Captain America, right? Like, Tom Brady, remember this is a mixed family in terms of, it's like the modern family. He got the son that's from somebody else. So they he living with him, right? So then Tom Brady just trying to watch film. And then Giselle and that son getting into it. She can't really check him because that ain't her son fully. So he over there running the house. Then he's like, all right, I'm just trying to watch film. Y'all chill. Giselle mad at him because she's like, damn, 
You 900 years old, been watching film forever. You still watching it? Don't you know football by now? Shut up, Zell. I'm trying to watch film. Then he over there, check, he checks the screen. He looks at his NASDAQ. He's like, yo, what the hell? I'm losing all my dough. Where my F's? Where my money going? And Tom Brady looking at film with one eye open. He looking at everything else. It's just madness. And I'm sure it that translated more to his decline than his age because the dude's only one year or two years older than when he won a Super Bowl and we thought he was the best thing since sliced bread. So Tim Brown, I get it. You're a skill player. Me in the trenches. Oh, hell no. Nah. There's there's a birth certificate necessary to play those positions. But when you talk about the quarterback position, using your brain over your body, Tom Brady deserves the benefit of the doubt to continue to play.